Welcome to the Mitsubishi tutorial on how to create frames and how to import it into PS Events. Here are a few key points to keep in mind before we begin. Make sure that you have the right drivers currently installed into your PC. Also, we will be creating the frame in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can go to the Adobe website to get the trial version. Let's proceed once you have everything ready. Open Photoshop. Make a new document. We'll name this as PS Frame. Set the width to 1852 and the height to 1226. The reason why the width and height isn't exactly 1800 by 1200 or 4 by 6 is because of print bleed. We're working to compensate where the cuts would be. Refer to your manual for additional details because the bleed may vary from printer to printer. Set the resolution to 300. Color mode to RGB and you can leave it as 8-bit. Select Transparent under Background Content. Click Create. Here's a quick way to make a frame. Click on the rectangle tool from the toolbar. Create a rectangle over the project. You can change the color fill and stroke of your rectangle. Over in the Layers tab, right-click the rectangle and select Rasterize. Rasterizing is a process of turning graphics into a simple bitmap image made of pixels. Use the marquee tool to create an incision in your shape. Right click over this area and select Cut over from the drop down menu. You can hide or delete this layer. In just under 5 minutes, you have a simple border. Photoshop provides you with a number of different options and we can continue if you'd like to learn more. However, if you would like to move on from here, you can click ahead in the video to import the frame into PS Events. This method can be done with any image you choose as your border. You can drag a background image into the project. Let's use this texture for example. Be sure to rasterize it. With the marquee tool, do the same thing and cut the section out to create your border. You can also put your stamp on the border by importing a logo. Drag your logo onto the project. You can resize by holding Ctrl T on your keyboard. Also, you can create text to highlight a specific event. For example, by clicking on the text tool and on an empty space, you can type a line of text such as PS Events Grand Opening. You can create shapes here and set it as so to make it interesting. When the shape tool is still selected, you can also change the color fill. Hold Ctrl and T on the keyboard to modify the shape. You can rotate it here. We'll place the shape on the corner of the frame here. You can also duplicate the layer and make any necessary customizations. You can add a drop shadow via right click on layer and selecting blending options from the menu. The options are up to you. Let's go ahead and save your border here. How you save the image is the most important step. Go to File and click Save As. Direct it to a location on your PC of your choosing. Under Save As Type, select PNG. This will keep the transparency of your file. There won't be any need for compression, so click None and click OK. Start up PS Events. Click on File and select New Event. Give this event a name. We have a photo set in a hot folder, so we'll go ahead and direct PS Events to this hot folder to print.
Click on Channel 1 tab. Make sure that you have set the correct format. For this demonstration, we will set our format to 4x6. Select the Picture Adjustments tab and click on Decoration Setup. Verify if you will be printing photos in landscape or portrait. For this demonstration, we have our photos in landscape. Click Enables Decoration and browse for your created border. Adjust the width and height of your photo. Click OK. Perform a test print to see if the photo and border is to your liking. That concludes our demonstration of how you can create a custom frame and import to PS Events. If you have any additional questions or concerns, you can reach out to us at tsupport at meus.mea.com or give us a call at 1-888-307-0309.